Hello and welcome to Wigs with Liz. My name's Liz and I wear wigs and I'm really excited today to share with you, review and experience with you a new wig called Courtney from the Fever Wig Collection. Now, not long ago, we did Cara and Cara is very similar to Courtney. Cara is a pink wig and you know it was a bit lopsided if you watch that video and I had to adjust it slightly, cut a little bit off the length and you know, I'd already cut the cap inside because as much as I am really loving these Fever Wig Collection wigs, I do find that the caps are just painful. So for me, I have to cut them out to make them comfortable because that's more important to me than the way the wig looks. So we're going to have a look together at Courtney today. Now, I haven't adjusted anything with Courtney. I bought Courtney on, from a shop on holiday when I was in Torquay in the UK. I went into a costume shop and it was like a joke shop and they got lots and lots of costume wigs and then they got a shelf higher with all these on. And I thought, ooh, got to get them then. So I've literally bought it for UK pounds, tried it on in the hotel room very quickly and then put it back in the box and then bought it home and left it on the floor in the room until now. So three months later, here we are. So let's try her on. And the reason why I'm really into these coloured wigs right now at this time of the year is because it's the fun time of the year. You know, we've got Halloween coming up. We've got other things going on. So it's just really exciting to get stuck into one of these wigs. And, you know, I have been sharing you know, over the last few videos, some fun wigs, you know, costume wigs for Halloween and having a look at headpieces and all these things. So it's also nice to just do a normal wig review that we may be able to wear, you know, maybe not daily, but, you know, something that is fun to wear out now. I'm really excited as well because Godiva's Secret Wigs have got a pink wig. It's called Crystal. Now I've been Keeping my eye on that for so long, it's sold out. And as soon as that comes back in, whenever that may be, I'm going to order two. I'm going to order two because it's a long wig and I'm going to wear one the way it comes and I'm going to cut one. So I'm really excited. I may even buy a spare one to do a giveaway with at some point in the future. But, you know, I've really got a, a, a want, a desire for a pink wig. So in the meantime... Let's have a look at Courtney. Now, Cara's very nice. I really like that one. But Courtney seems to be a bit shorter. Now, we know that the pictures are deceiving because her head's a different way. And with Cara, we realise that because the, the, the model's kind of with her head like that, it's hiding the fact that one side is longer than the other. And she's doing the same thing in this picture. So it's going to be very interesting to see how long she is you know if she's going to be lopsided i say lopsided it just means different lengths you know and that's quite modern right now some people are having the hair cut that way but you know as a 46 year old woman wanting to wear a pink wig i feel for me something that's the same length or you know laid into a very nice style is going to suit me more than maybe something that's different lengths which would suit someone younger well, that's just my personal opinion. You can wear this wig at any age. You know, I'm not being ageist there. I'm just saying me personally, I think that wearing a wig that's different lengths may look a bit odd on me. You may think differently. But let's have a look at Courtney and see what's going on. So first I'm going to prep my hair. I need a wig band. It would help. I do this every time. So my wig band is actually over here on the floor. So I've got my wig band, which I'm going to put on so it's more stable. But I feel I'm going to have to cut bits out of the cap anyway. So I'm just going to grab my hair and put it into a low ponytail. And on the third one, just put a little bun at the back there to secure it. And then I'm going to put my wig grip band on, which I wear with my, you know, kind of Amazon or cheaper wigs. Just until if I think I'm going to wear it, you know, I'll sew wig clips in. But this is such a great option, you know, when you just want to put a wig on very quickly. So if you want to know about this particular wig grip band that I'm wearing right now, 
Then I've done a review on this in the playlist section. And this is a Godiva Secret Wig one. So it's very, very good. It does exactly what it's supposed to do. It keeps your wig on. So, Courtney, stylable and heat resistant, 120 degrees Celsius. So this one takes the heat. And she's a Curls Long Bob Centre Parting Baby Pink. So the colour is baby pink. Let's have a look then. I really like the look of it. Okay, I'm excited. So let's see what's going on. Now, I have cut the tag off this when I, when I got the wig. But as I said, I haven't done anything to it now. In the wig cap straight away... You know, it does look quite big. It has got breathable wefting at the back and there is a label there too. So, you know, the weave, the breathable wefting is good because it makes it very airy to wear. And, you know, the cap is quite a well-made cap. You know, these are very good wigs, this Viva Wig collection. I'm quite impressed with the quality of the cap. And, you know, not like some of the Amazon wigs that are around the same price. Sometimes they can feel a bit fake. So I do like the wig cap style. I'm just going to put the blind down because the sun's come streaming through. That's better. I want you to see what I'm doing. And I want to see what I'm doing. So, you know, it is a good, you know, sturdy cap as well. The only thing is where the ear tabs are, because of the way they are, on all these wigs that seem to affect me in every way, apart from Godiva Secret Wigs, they tend to hurt me. And push into my ears or be too big for my head. So, you know, I may have to adjust them. Now, if you get this wig, you may not need to make any adjustments in the cap. It may just be me being me. But, you know, I prefer to cut bits out than be uncomfortable. Because what's the point of wearing a wig that's going to make you feel uncomfortable? You're going to spend the entire time wishing you could take it off. So, yeah. Anyway, let's look at the wig itself. So look at the gorgeous colour. So it's a rooted wig, which I really like because that suits me because it looks more natural and it creates the illusion of it being your hair because it's got the darker root and it's got this gorgeous pink. Now, looking at the wig, it looks like it's one length, which seems to be good. This is more one I go for than the Cara wig, which I really like, but obviously, you know, it's a bit... It was different length, so I had to trim it a little bit. But this one looks like it may not need any adjusting on the length at all. And the cap, well, they say the cap, but the, the parting, I mean, yes, it doesn't look very realistic, but there is things you could do. You know, there are many, many wig people out there on YouTube that show you how to make a parting that's very natural. If you wanted to make this, you will go to wig. But I don't mind this, you know, I don't mind this because... You know, this is just something for me to tide me over until I can get my hands on Crystal from Godiva's Secret Wigs. And they also do a costume wig called Frozen, which is a white one with dark roots. And they do one called Sugar Plum, which is a light purple. So that's what I intend to do, you know, treat myself to them in the future. So, and I'll be reviewing them, obviously. And, you know, I just want to put this out there as well, if you're watching this review. You know, if you've been asking me for specific wigs from Godiva Secret Wigs, I know that, you know, I've been asking for Janet and McKenna and Kayla. They are coming soon, okay? I've already got Kayla. I need to order Jenna and McKenna. I'm going to put big order in before Christmas, and then I'll be reviewing them in the new year, okay? So stay posted. There's going to be plenty to watch on here. So let's put this wig on then. So as I said, I am expecting to have to cut these ear tabs, but we will see. So I'm going to put my thumbs at the back where the label is, and I'm going to pull it over my head. Let's have a look then. This is a centre parting one, so I'm going to make sure I get it in the right place. Flip it back, and let's pull her up. Yeah, the, again, yeah, definitely going to have to sort out these ear tabs, which is such a shame. So let's get it equal then. Let's get it right. So I need to just check in the mirror that I've got it in the centre. It's a bit off centre there. It's because of the ear taps. I know they're hurting me straight away. So I'm just going to take the wig straight off because it's just so disappointing. When I get a wig I like, like this one, and it's uncomfortable, it's just so frustrating. So I've got my bin down here. I'm going to cut it up. Let's cut it up. So I've got my good scissors today and... 
All I'm going to do, now I know that this is going to take some of the hair off, but it has to be done, I'm afraid, because it's too painful for me. You may not want to do this with your wig. You may just put up with it, but I can't, okay? It may not hurt you at all. So all I'm going to do is cut around where the ear tab is. See this ear tab here? You know, I'm going to cut around it to make it more comfortable. And if I balls the wig up, I balls the wig up. I'd rather balls the wig up than have pain. So I'm just cutting it. Let me do it over the bin and I'll show you in a second. So quite a bit of hair is coming out again here. So I'm just putting it in the bin because, you know, I don't want to make a mess on my table. So hair comes out and that's okay. That's okay. It's at least it's going to be comfortable. So as I said, it's just such a shame. I think that, you know, these companies should cater for people who can't stand the wig tabs because I don't understand how they can be so comfortable on the Godiva's wigs and so uncomfortable on all the other wigs I've tried. Now, I know I haven't really tried any other high-end wigs apart from the wigs I've got from Selfridges, the carry wig I wear, the blonde one, and I've got a red one I haven't even showed you yet from there too, which I don't really wear a lot, to be honest. I need to. And they are fine. So I think the high-end wigs are fine. It's just the cheaper ones. So I don't know why. Surely it isn't that hard to create a cap that, you know, an inexpensive cap that doesn't hurt. I don't know. So there, one's completely out there. So I'm going to do the other one now, you know, because it's just so much more comfortable. So all I'm doing, if I turn the cap inside out, I'm cutting around here. So I'll try and do it on the table. So I just grab it there and I'm going to just cut the bit out that is going to hurt me, which is to there. So just cutting that bit out. So I'm just going to put the hair that comes off into the bin. Because hair does come off, but that's okay. There isn't much hair coming off, to be honest. I'll show you how much comes off in a second. And, you know, I'm glad that I can show you this because, you know, I'm not going to sit here and lie and say, oh my goodness, this wig, it's so comfortable when it isn't. Because it's a waste of money for you guys, you know. You want to know what you're getting. And that's why I'm so passionate about the Godiva Secret Wigs because you know what you're getting. I haven't had to send one wig back. I mean, what does that tell you? I haven't had to adjust any caps. What does that tell you? Yes, I've cut bangs in some and I've adjusted the length on some, but that's to suit me. It's nothing wrong with the wig. The wig is fine as it is. So, yeah. Anyway, so I think that all the hair's out of that now. So if I show you what I've took off, literally... That has come off. So not much at all, to be honest. I've, I've done it before on wigs and a lot more has come off. So that's not too bad at all. It may start shedding more when I put it on. You never know. So this is what it now looks like. Now, when it's like this, now I have to use my eyesight and my parting to make sure I've got it on right. Because I haven't got those ear tabs now to make it level. So we just do it and see what happens. So I'm excited now to put the wig on because I know it's not going to hurt me. So let's get it on. Let's get it on. So I'm going to lift it up to my hairline. Like, again, let me just check in the mirror here. Yeah, that's where I need it. So just check it's level. The way I do it is I get the part and I go down to my nose. And yeah, it's a lot more comfortable now. There is some bra strap adapters I've left in. But again, they're not the proper adapters. They're not like the Godiva's ones. I'm going to cut them out as well. Why? Because the wig band holds it on everywhere. So this is Courtney. Now, I do prefer this one, I have to admit, than the other one. I like Cara, don't get me wrong. And, you know, if you want to know what I'm talking about, go to the playlist wig reviews and you'll find it there. I'm just taking off any excess hair that's coming out because obviously I've been cutting up the cap. Um, and I do like that wig a lot, but because it's a bit lopsided, I'm actually preferring Courtney. Isn't it a nice wig? I like it a lot. Okay, so let me just kind of get her into style. So I don't really want to mess up the way the style is because it's a curly whirly wig, and I love curly whirly wigs. So I don't want to straighten it or anything like that. And it's heat resistant, so you could. 
you know, if you didn't like the curl on her, you could easily get the straighteners on it and coax it into place a different way. So I'm just making sure, you know, there's no hair. Well, there is a little bit, you see, coming out. That's because I've cut the, the cap. But now I've cut the cap, very comfortable. You know, can't even really tell it's on my head. It's not really a heavy wig either. The only thing I can tell is, can you see these? These are the, let me take it off actually, because I don't need it to be right, you know. These are the things I'm on about, these bra strap things, okay. They're not, they're not even like the other ones. So what I do on these wigs, because my wig grip band keeps the wig on, I'm going to cut them out because they just cause me pain and drama and struggle and I don't need it. So I'm cutting them out too. Again, you may want to keep these in because they tighten your wig up. But with the wig grip bands on, trust me, you don't need them in. The wig grip band does it all for you. Now, obviously, if you're wanting to sew wig clips into this, you might want to keep them. But you can sew wig clips at the back as well. You know, you can do that as well. So let me show you what I mean. Because, you know, you've got your hair on. I'm going to show you on the... On the um, the mirror oh my goodness Liz I've got menopause brain try and say camera and it's a mirror so I put on my Godiva secret wig grip bands which is spot on I know you can get these from other companies but you know this is perfect for me and just put it on like that below your ears and then all you do is you grab the top and you lift it up and you push it over your ears so if I show you in the mirror not the camera it goes all the way around. So this grip wig grip band is going to grip the wig all the way around. So you're not going to need those adapters on if you find them uncomfortable or they're sticking in you or they're getting on your nerves. You just don't need them. So let's put her on again now all the bits are cut out. So I'm also going to cut out this unsightly white label. It's got a little blue label down here. But I'm going to cut that out because it's long and I don't need it. And that says on it the item number okay but you know what it says you know it's courtney from the secret wig no the cut the courtney from the fever wig collection not the secret wig collection getting mixed up with good eye was there so let's put her on again i'm tucking all the hair in flicking it back getting it in you know alignment because i've cut those pieces out again let me just check in the mirror the only reason why i'm doing this is so that i get it in the right spot you know, isn't it a pretty wig? It's so pretty. So, yeah, I can definitely feel the difference now I've removed them. See the difference? Nothing now at all is sticking in me or taking my attention away from the fact that I'm wearing a nice wig. So, now I can style it. So, I'm just going to use my fingers because I don't want to brush this. So, you know, look at even doing that, you know. It's just grabbing it and doing that. It kind of flattens the whole look down. So again, just grab and eat, do what you feel you want to do. Look at that, I've just flattened the whole thing down. So I've got a lot of time, look at that though. I've got a lot of time for these fever wicks because I feel that they are good quality wicks for the money. I mean, how much was this? £28, UK pounds. I've paid more money from wigs on Amazon that, you know, are heavier, more painful, I've had to do more work on them. And these are just really, really good, sexy, young, youthful, pastel type wigs that, you know, are going to tide you over until maybe you get a high end one. Like, you know, I really like this one, you know, for, I don't know, maybe for Halloween or a party or even, you know, if I'm feeling exciting, I can go out in this. I mean, look at it. So let me just show you the side. Let's have a look together. So the thing I really like about it is that it's got the darker roots. I really do like that. And, you know, it is a little bit longer this side. But that, you know, it's because it's kinking under. So it's just the style of the wick, you know. Because this side, it seems to be a bit curlier. And this is a bit more poof, like bouffant, poofy, you know. Like it flicks out. That's the word. It flicks out more. And if I show you the top, you've got that rooted top there. If I touch it, obviously it doesn't feel natural on the top, but it doesn't, it, you know, it doesn't feel too bad. You know, it's not like some of the Amazon wigs that feel like cardboard. It feels okay, you know. 
obviously it's not like a high-end wig but it's okay it's good quality for the money for 28 pounds you can't knock it really so i'm just having a look in the mirror i've got the you know the parting where i want it to be and from a distance in the mirror it looks nice obviously if you get really close up to me you're going to know it's a wig because the parting is fake but like i said you could easily adjust that but you know i'm not bothered about those things i don't care what people think if i'm enjoying wearing a wig i'm wearing a wig and that's it i'm enjoying owning the wig so i'm just going to show you the side and the back pretty and then this side so she is a bit longer on the right side but that's okay you know that's okay i mean if i wanted to i could just cut a little bit off there i could perhaps just cut it about there to level it up but it doesn't really need it or does it or does it let me have a look in the mirror yeah it does really for me it does a little bit i think it needs a little bit off so you know if i look at it like this what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do, i'm gonna grab my scissors and you know, i don't want to make a mess on my table let's try and do this together i'm gonna cut it about there that's all i do i don't need to go upstairs because that's all i do in the mirror so cut it a little bit there okay just took a tiny bit off the length there so can you see a little bit more there so now i can see it needs a little bit off it here as well so all i'm taking off put that in the bin and you know maybe a bit there too but i think that looks much better look at that so you know just own your wig don't be afraid to get the scissors on it and i think that looks much better just with that little tiny bit off because you know they look nice on some people and especially you know younger people but for me a 46 year old woman anyway wearing a pink wig i want something that's more conservative and you know you can wear any color wig at any age that's not what i'm saying what i mean is you know i think i'm gonna feel much more myself and at ease with wearing this wig if it's the same length than if it's lopsided you know because i'd be constantly thinking what you know what's it doing and what's going on with it but isn't it a pretty little wig really pretty funky style and you know the thing i like about cara and courtney is they're very wearable you know when i tried the kylie wig on that aqua mint green one the straight one it hung in my face and yes it could possibly be because i'm wearing it with a wig grip band and when you wear it with you know you sew wig clips in it's a different experience but it felt in my face even the other night i tried it on and i thought i'll just try it on again you know off camera and see if it feels different but it didn't it was still hanging in my face whereas with this one it doesn't feel like it's hanging in my face i mean i know it's around my eyes but it doesn't feel like it would annoy me you know and if it did i could just perhaps put a clip in but look what i've done on the side so even though i've cut the tabs out it hasn't taken that much off really it's taken more off this side than that side but again nobody's going to see that because i've got it covered and i would never really wear this wig up like that anyway so but yeah pretty little wig not bad for 28 uk pounds and you can get these fever wigs from amazon so you know if you're wondering where you can get it from from there but you may see it in a costume shop you never know but just a cute little funky pink wig until i can get my hands on crystal the real thing and doesn't it go well with my top so really really cool you know i really do like these pink wigs i think they're very, really funky especially when they've got the darker roots because they look very natural the design that way instead of being pink all over and it just looking like a candy floss you know it's just really cool and you know you could think you all look like frenchy from um greece so i can't is frenchy's hair pink or is it's pink in the first one is it red and or blonde in the second one i can't remember but yeah look like a pink lady so this is courtney from the fever wig collection 
So again, you say, if I don't put my hair like that, again, it looks different because I've used my fingers to pat it down. But, you know, you could easily, if you wanted it curly like this, you could easily, because it's, it's heat resistant, get, you know, curling tongs on this or put, you know, some kind of curl in it. Or you could straighten it in some way. So very, very pretty wig, but I do feel better now I've cut a little bit off the length to make it more of the same length. So let me know what you think of this in the comment section. Have a great day, sending you so much love. I love having fun with you guys and I'll see you soon.